function. This is the preliminary function towards the major installation, which will happen sometime in May or June, in the most auspicious day. This is the Pratishta, initial uh, thing we did. We are very blessed to be involved, because Mother Meenakshi Amma was the original director, producer of this temple. The way it happened is, when she came, during a certain auspicious time, 27 star system, she came and said, you build my house to protect the world, but don't call me Meenakshi, call me Adi Parashakti, call me Lalita Tri Prasuntari, uh, ca call me Raja Rajeshwari. The reason is, mystical reason, I won't go into it, we don't have the time. At that time, there are some people who are involved. The most important person who is not here, she is involved, Dr. Keski, where is she? Is she here? Yeah, come, let them see why you are here, why you are given prominence. She appeared to her at the same time and she came to me and asked me, who is this? What form is this? At that time it was a uh, uh, Karumariyamman form. So we took her, she went to Madhra Minakshi temple. She was blessed to offer the gold uh, parrot which uh, Mother Minakshi is holding in uh, Madurai. Many times she came and uh, she's blessed. So she's given all the importance. Her husband, Dr. Shah, is here too, but he didn't get, he didn't come that many times, but she came. So she was given all the importance, and many mystical things happened during our travel together. I, she knows it, these are all very personal. Uh, we don't have the time. And uh, Pam was given the mantra. Pamela, stand up. She was given the mantra, which she's been chanting for probably 15, 20 years. So last night I said, today you can say it openly, because she stopped, that period is over. That was Manika Pachai Navarati Nati, Maragadati Anik Karaganirati, Panjacharati Acharati, Veni Kambatriva Tanakatoni Kadacham Arvai, Tiripura Jodi Minakshumaye. So when she says it, you'll never understand what she's saying. But she says, she says that mantra. The mantra is very meaningful, very profoundly symbolic, profoundly scientific, very logical. Colors are very important. Each deity has a color. The vibration of that color, not the color itself. The sound behind that color. So it's seeing the, seeing the sound. And that is very significant. Mother Meenakshi's color is green. She's sitting next to uh, uh, Mother. She, she has a green uh, thing symbolically. I wish they had given her green dress. Because Raja Matangi Ambika is Mother Meenakshi. So Mother Meenakshi was always here. Now we are giving her specific place. And I'll give you a few information about this important. So that color is, uh, that comes right in the middle of all the colors and colors are very important. How many of them in the cosmos? More than 100,000. Probably close to a million colors in the cosmos. We can perceive only few, maybe 20, 30. Some of us can perceive up to 100. Beyond that we cannot perceive. So the colors are very important. Mother Meenakshi's color is that because certain cosmic energy we need to reach her in the highest form. She is Kasi Salachi. Madhra Meenakshi, Kanchi Kamakshi, they're all very similar vibration, very close vibration, but ultimately the colors are important. Mother Meenakshi's important is, if you know Raja Matangi's importance, you know Mother Meenakshi's important. Raja Matangi is royal counselor. She tells Mother, Mother knows everything, that is Adi Parashakti, Laita Thira Prasuntari, Raja Rajeshwari, aspect knows everything. But our rishis dissected it. A little bit lesser, so it will be more specific. So Raja Matangi is actually the para walk. All the thoughts process, every minute 2000 thought process goes through our mind. We remember one or two. But thought process has to crystallize from para level to partiality level to madhyama level to Vaikari level. Uh, Vaikari is what I expressed it to you. That's all I realize, that's all you know. But before I say that, there are many thought processes has gone, which has higher, higher vibratory significance, which I am not able to bring it down to this level, but they exist. So with uh, Raja Matangi, if I think of her, that energy comes to us through her, because she is the origin of all the thought process. She's, uh, Matangi was, uh, Matanga was a Rishi, through which the energy came to humanity. They all existed forever. Earth existed for 4.5, 4.6 billion years, but they existed 14, 15 billion years, whenever the universe formed, or before it was formed. They always existed. they given us the perception, and Raja Matangi gives us the perception. She is closely connected to Mahasaraswati. She is closely connected to Nila Saraswati sitting on top, 
sitting on top of mother. They're all closely connected to wisdom aspect, the thought aspect, the speech aspect, the walk aspect. Those are the most important thing. Without the walk and speech, we really cannot communicate. We may not even perceive the significance of it. And then it goes into the mantric aspect. There's his mantra, Shri Devi. She'll give us the grace of knowing the mantra, seeing the mantra, hearing the mantra in a way it should be heard, not the words alone, the rasa, the rasa of the mantra she would grant us. So all this are very mystical, very deeply meaningful, very difficult to reach the stage. But Raja Matangi Devi gives us the grace to understand. Madam Meenakshi in that form gives us all the grace to achieve all this, to understand all this. And again, as I said, these are very, very mystical. Only the rishis have realized. And they are given into us in the form of vibratory walk, the mantras. Original one is Om, which is a creative. All the other vibratory energies come origin of that. But there are many, many specific, there are more than 10,000 mantras and more than 10,000 rishis. So all these are very meaningful. The essence of it to be achieved by us is through Mahasaraswati, through Nilavani Ambika, through Raja Matangi, <coughs> through Mother Meenakshi, who encompasses all this dissected aspect of that ability to know her, to know Mother through that <coughs> mantra and feeling them and knowing them. Then moving on to higher level where we become devatas and that level we become the mantra. At that level we would know them all because we are them. But we are trying to enter the loka. So we evolve, we understand. In the process, Mahasaraswati, Meenakshi Ambiga, Raja Matangi Ambiga, Neela Saraswati. So many aspects she has given us. In the Raja Gopuram, there are many aspects uh, given us. Ultimately, the Sri Chakra is there. And through that, if you understand the meaning of the nine avarnas, if you pass through the avarnas, then you go on to divine world and our destiny is that if you don't reach it this time you'll reach it some other time but we are destined to go to that world otherwise we would not be here all this cosmic energy mother's energy help us to reach it we have wonderful uh, priests and wonderful homa they did today for mother meenakshi so mother make sure we go through the proper procedures so that what is supposed to happen happen what we get what we want more than what we want what we need many of us don't even know what we want all this mystical understanding we don't even know we want it because we don't even know anything about it but she knows mother knows that, that's why every day at the end we say you grant us what we need we don't even say we want this and that sarva mangala mangalya shiva sarvartha sadake saranya trayambrake gauri narayani namasute what you're telling her is you know what we need Please grant us this. We cannot ask because we don't know what to ask. You know some rudimentary thing we'll ask. But one thing we do ask is, please take us to other world. Don't leave us in this world, which is illusory. We have survived in this world for 800,000 lifetimes years, all right? Now time has come for us to come to your world. And she will grant us that. To, know, to go to that world, you have to know. You have to have the grace of all the deities. And most important deity, of course, is Raja Rajeshwari, then comes Mother Meenakshi. We'll discuss more. Many, many miraculous things happen in the process while she was coming in. We don't have the time for that. Maybe sometime we'll allocate when we install Mother Meenakshi, which will be in a few months. And she'll come gloriously. We have already made the uh, uh, Vigraha, wonderful Vigraha, happen in a very complex way, not simple way. Three of them. And in that process, Nagapan gets the thing and uh, Vivek and Kannan, they work together very, very uh, hard and planned it. And Tangapattar, you remember, he was an elderly priest. He has been priest for 50 years in Mother Meenakshi Temple in Madurai. He, we will invite him to come and do the function in May. He's 92 years old. Many of you have seen him and hopefully you'll come and do it. And then uh, Rakesh was given the blessing. He went to Madurai, brought the soil from Mother Meenakshi's temple. We added it uh, down here. So he was given that privilege and many privileges too. So and many, many of you, I'm sure, participate in it. And I see Dr. Kiski was blessed with a grandchild a couple of days ago. Uh, nice, uh, uh, <laughs> just a couple of days ago. Wonderful child. He'll have a special, special uh, attributes. All of you, whoever comes here, your progeny will be greatly blessed. Not just you, your children. That's why uh, yesterday I was watching uh, Ancient aliens and their segment on uh, Namagiri. 
you know Namagri? Namagri gave uh, secrets to Ramanujam. You know about Ramanujam? 1920s, uh, 1980, he passed away in 1920. He was genius. Now they're realizing what he was talking. Einstein didn't even come close to that. All the formulas he was writing, only now they are crunching. How did he get it? At night she would come and tell him, Mother Namagri, Mother Aspect, Saraswati Aspect, one of her aspects. She'll come and give him these complex things. Some of it he understood, most of it he did not understand. But he wrote them down. And he was blessed soul, he was connected to that deity. In this place, she is very actively present. What that means is, you, your progenies will have the potential to get that. Who, I don't know. It depends on your bhakti, your understanding, which goes into your children. So bring them, bring them, let them know it. They don't have to go through suffering to get one noble prize. They'll get many. Because what Namagi was telling, even now they don't understand the formula. Some of which they are showing the television. Yesterday I happened to see it. So it's fantastic. Warm world travel, how to go to other galaxies, how to go to other uni universe. All this most complex formula which mathematics doesn't know. See, mathematics is divine. We understand and use very rudimentary aspect of the mathematics. Mathematics itself is divine. We understand one, probably one thousandth of what it is and what the significance is and we use it. Construction, calculus, we use it. But what we don't use, huge, and that is divine. And that concept Namagri Ambika has given him and with that knowledge he was considered as a genius. But now they are appreciating more because now they are able to understand what she was telling him. That formula is significant. Now we have super, super computer. They crunch data. You do need billion, billion data to be crunched, trillion data maybe, petabytes. That computer can do it. That we have now. He didn't have it. Those times they didn't even know what it was. So many, many mystical things I see happening here. People do not know, world doesn't know, science doesn't know yet. But as time goes on, even seeing uh, the Devata, this place is full of actionists. Why aren't we seeing them? Why aren't you feeling them? I'm sure you're feeling them. But you may not see them, there are various reasons, scientific reasons why. So this place is full of science, full of metaphysics, full of mysticism, full of grace. So we are blessed with that. Thank you.